Onions contain sulfur that assists the body in eliminating toxins and metals such as arsenic, lead and cambium. The antioxidant flavonate prevents blood clots, lower cholesterol and fights against infections. Do not store sliced onion for later consumption. It will absorb the bacteria and it is unhealthy to eat. So the recipe would be pour some raw honey in between the sliced onion pieces. Leave it overnight covered. It will produce a thick liquid. Have a spoon of this syrup hourly and it will help. How it works? The organal sulfur compounds, thiosulfates, sulfoxidates, Christine sulfoxides, it burns the airborne virus and stray others. Do not use it if you are diabetic, undergoing a surgery or pregnant, or check with your health practitioner. Cinnamon and cloves. Cinnamon boosts your immune system, fights cold and reduce the pain of sore or dry throat due to antioxidant, antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. Cloves have been used for treating common cold, cough and toothache since ancient times. The recipe is boil in a pot with the water, a tablespoon of cinnamon powder and two, three cloves for 15 to 20 minutes. Strain the mixture and drink a glass of it when warm. If needed, add honey. Drink at least three times a day. And how it works? One of main constituents of cinnamon is albinol, methyl, ahavicol, and cinnamaldehyde that uh, and eliminate the harmful pathogens causing cold and reduce inflammation. Do not use it without monitoring effects. If you are a diabetic, have a liver disease, using NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Ginger has an anti-inflammatory properties and treats cold, cough and even certain stomach aliments. Recipe is take a couple of inches long ginger root, cut it into small pieces and boil and strain. And drink every hour or as needed. How it works? Ginger contains a chemical clone known as gingerol Shogol and sequitary pen that eliminate cold and virus from the body. Do not use it if you are allergic to ginger or pregnant. It may have some interferences with the fetus and labor, so it's good to check with your health practitioner uh, regarding the quantity and when and how often you may use it because it's definitely helpful. Lemon juice, it's a, another Mother Nature's gift. The recipe is a mix two teaspoons of honey and a half teaspoon of lemon juice. Consume the mixture once in every two hours to notice an instant improvement. And how it works? Antioxidants called bioflavonoids are responsible for health and immune boosting properties of lemon juice. Do not use it if you are suffering from gastrophagal reflex disorder, ulcer or pregnant or breastfeeding. 
it is safe if you are using it as a part of a regular diet but in higher dosages it's good to check with your health practitioner Uh, remember that honey is not prescribed to children under two years of age. Garlic reinforces your immune system. Crush garlic to make a paste, add two teaspoons of lemon juice and a teaspoon of honey and half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Drink it once a day until you feel relieved. Of course, in all these recipes, just feel to adjust the dosage according to your, your taste and your common sense. How it works? It releases the enzymes that have antiviral properties and they fight against the germs build up and flushes the toxins from the body. Do not eat it if you have hemophilia are planning to undergo surgery or you are pregnant or have stomach ulcers. Ginseng is another herb. It helps in boosting the immune system, enhances stamina, energy and health, but it is also effectively used for simple uh, things like uh, cold. Cres recipe is just to crush the pieces of fruit, add some water and boil it for 15 minutes. And strain it and drink during the day. How it works? It contains adaptogen substances that balance the uh, body functions. Do not use if you are breastfeeding or pregnant, taking medications for diabetes, blood thinning, antidepressants and morphine. Or check with your health practitioner. Basil leaves and pepper. It's another recipe. If you are suffering from any infection, you can have basil or tulsi, that is bacterial combating herb. It's immunomodulator, heals clogged ears and discomfort that comes from cold. The recipe is put in blender two teaspoons of basil leaves and half a teaspoon of pepper. Boil the mixture for 10 minutes and steep when it is warm enough for drinking. Drink it at least four times a day or every few hours as needed. This uh, mixture works because it contains polyphenolic flavonoids that have antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. Black pepper has capsaicin which can flush out the toxins and other infection causing agents from the body. Do not use it if you are pregnant, breastfeeding, had surgery or are going to have surgery and check it, check if it is necessary with your health practitioner. Battle leaves. It supports muscular stimulation and improved mental efficiency. The recipe is take a fresh battle leaf and cut them in small pieces Put in the pot, add water and boil. Add a pinch of pepper powder and a few pieces of freshly cut ginger. Strain it and drink it during the day. How it works? Leaf releases a natural phenol called cavicol that is antibacterial and antiseptic. But do not use it if you have oral cancer, stomach ulcers, acid reflux, tuberculosis, migraines, or urticaria, or epilepsy. So these are just a few herbs that we can recommend in this session. 
I hope it will be of help. You can do much deeper research, but this is just for to start thinking about effectiveness of herbs that can be used without any side effects. I wish you good health, all success, and let me know if you have any questions.